folks can hear us along with a few pioneers falling upon the a couple of engineers forcing them to retreat. No casualties inflicted. Another engineer squad running past it all and deciding to continue the job. Your western half is now within Dodemir's grasp again. And one squad is moving up intent on apparently flanking. Ooh, dangerous hitting a mine. But no casualties, just a few scratches and bruises. But now suffering casualties as grenadiers rush in to stop them from their attack. And throwing a grenade, killing no one. The Americans have secured this central roundabout and are now moving in to engage the grenadiers. And Dodemir is now going for the Sherman tank and has also acquired rangers now. So oh, that should be interesting to see what he's planned. Dodim von Peacelock is not moving back the pack until it's too late. The Fulton is trying to cover it and mortar fire. Raining in, meaning that he has gotten a mortar. Which is usually not a bad thing since that means both offensively and defensively he's gotten a bit of a force multiplier. Although he should be a bit careful now not to hit his own men, as that's just going to be tragic. Dodemir trying to launch a new attack and should perhaps have considered investing in a triad center so some of his men could have been healed because this veterancy one squad is greatly wounded and probably won't last long before it has to retreat once more. The first Sherman is on the field, first piece of armor of the match. Trundling forward, probably trying to strike at these troops spread out here and should perhaps have considered bringing some infantry support just in case. Grenadiers appearing but not following, just instead choosing to try and seize the point. Rangers spotting the mortars moving in, coming under further fire from Grenadiers and Folks, it is. German almost annihilating a Folks, it is squad. And we have the Grenadiers by the 16 nuisance points surrounded by Grenadiers and now finding themselves under fire from the German. The Grenadiers holding out despite heavy mortar fire. Intent on taking out the bunker with the bazookas doing an excellent job but they should have moved out and now just wrecked by the mortars and leaving behind bazooka let's see who actually takes it because that is always recommendable if you see someone drop a weapon take it and the grenadiers go for it being more and more of a tank buster team they can't do much against tanks by that. Or infantry, I mean. Taking fire from the Sherman, who is now up to 8 infantry kills. Losing ground out there. Engineers rushing forward, the flamethrower narrowly missing, missing a mortar round by being suppressed by it. Mortar under heavy fire, taking heavy f losses. Completely dead. annihilated, pack surrounded. Cut off and annihilated as well. So several heavy losses to von Peacelock, who seems to have gone directly for a Panzer command and neglected the Storm Armory, which is not something I'd always recommend. Not unless you feel you've definitely gotten under control, but at this point it might be the right decision, we'll have to see. But currently, the Sherman is in complete control of the map, with little damage and little, little to actually harm it. In particular, as it continues to gain veterancy and become further and further of a lethal killing machine. Riflemen holding out, further losses to the Grenadiers, now pulling back in mass. The riflemen perhaps can he actually considered retreating before they are taken out by the folks not yes and the Sherman seems intent on knocking out the pack so it can't be recruited. 
unfortunately they are suffering losses to the Sherman and riflemen nearby. And has gained veterancy too. Which I do believe me gives it either a penetration bonus. Or a damage bonus, I can't exactly remember. I believe the first one is a speed bonus. Now the Grenadiers are moving out again with Panthers Ready to challenge the Sherman. The Sherman wisely pulling back and still cons causing considerable losses. Taking heavy fire and apparently he's bought... No, 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 he hasn't bought two Panthers it's just the Suga as well. A second Sherman is out. That's a bit of a surprise. But still effective for sure. The pack has been recruited. And von Peacelock has a long way ahead of him to actually regain the some solid footing on the map. As currently Dodemir is holding most of it and has gone for a howitzer shot to bring in some heavy artillery on his opponent's positions. And something's brewing in the Panzer Command. Although what that is we will have to see. Pan Grenadiers staying about, not really doing anything, and perhaps here I might have set them laying down some barbed wire, some sandbags. Yes, tanks might have pressed it, but they might not, and it would have helped to impede the movement of infantry. It might move up to support it. Grenadiers being isolated by the riflemen, being and being forced to retreat, and a Panzer IV is on the field, workhorse of the Third Reich. Ready to fight Sherman or infantrymen alike. Moving up to take a shot at the riflemen who are also under fire from flamethrowers. How is the shot being called in, knocking out the bunker? And something else, I think. The pack, I believe. Oh dear, that's a heavy loss. Doesn't look like that Dodimir has gotten sticky bombs, so the Hands of four has free reign to do what he likes against the riflemen. Although considering now that Shams are moving in and have gotten the improved get barrels for the oh dear. The Sherman the Panzer four is in trouble. Side armor is shown to this Sherman really is a bad idea. Taking heavy fire, surrounded and focused on. And yes, doing their best to hold back Dodemir's infantry, but suffering heavy losses in the process. Entire squads annihilated. Panzer IV wrecked, brewed up. Only a wreckage. Where there once was a tank. Von Peacelock a bit upset with how things are turning out for him. But not all is well for Dodimir as well as he is starting to bleed men as well and only has three infantry squads, two of them badly injured and low on men and an engineer team. And now he is getting BARs for his riflemen. A bit of a lull in the battle as fresh anti-tank assets are moved forward and on Peace Lock's men regroup for another assault and perhaps you should consider spreading them out so they don't become such easy targets and also allow him a more effective way of con focusing fine different targets without taking too much fire. And currently things are looking grim since he has almost no map control while Dodemir holds most of the map. Although perhaps Dodemir himself should consider getting some more infantry. Or something similar since he is kind of low. Grenade thrown at the rifleman in the center. Sherman opening fire. Killing further than it is. Second Sherman has gained veterans he won. And the other Sherman is now a vet free. Meaning it's gotten great increased penetration along with the upgun more damage and is generally also going to be faster so real killing machine now and 
from Peace Luck will have to bring up something like a panther in the hopes of no if he wants to hope to knock that out. But I'm not entirely sure what he is up to. I haven't really seen anything of a doctrinal choice from him as of yet. So I don't think he's gone defensive since his bungers were knocked out too quickly for that. So what has he gone for is the question. Numerous rockets flying off the rifleman, none of them really hitting. And now the Shams once again moving in for the kill. Killing one Fulton it is. Pack. Opening fire on one of the Shermans. Fulton is suffering heavy losses. The pack moving numerous shots hitting one of the Shermans. They are moving in for a base kill. How it's a fire moving in for the trying to hit the pack. Dirty Mir doing a bit of a drive-by in this case then. One shot hitting the Vet Free Sherman. Oh, that's dangerous. Engine damage now. Ooh, main gun destroyed. Cam from Peace Lock managed to take it up. No, it barely manages to get away. With only a slayer of health and numerous structural damage, including a broken gun and a damaged engine. But things are still not really looking up for on peace luck who is still forced to resort to only using infantry and no real support and no armor could it be he's trying to go for a tiger or a king tiger perhaps we'll have to see the riflemen having set up a sandbag wall of their own holding out against all these forces suppressive fire being unleashed causing all the fortunes and grenadiers to hit the ground. A third Sherman has been added. And riflemen are returning, although these were beaten brutally at the front. And a pioneer team is completely destroyed. Not quite sure what I'd do if I was from Peace Lock, but I'd certainly get something to aid my troops and I'd probably also try to attack either here or through here instead of trying to attack directly down and into where he's expecting it. That's usually a good idea. But in such situations not to attack where the enemy want you to. Sherman taking heavy fire but shrugging most of it up although now heavily damaged once more. Almost taking the Sherman out. And now Fulton is finding himself surrounded by tanks and infantry suffering heavy losses. Sherman moving up to try and take out the pack. The pack, helpless because it has no infantry to support it, is 